After months of delays while the Greek deficit mounted, Germany on Tuesday became the first country to approve contributions to a new aid package meant to stabilize the Eurozone. The cabinet vote signals German ambitions to lead a European Union that's now facing tremendous strain. Germany will not essentially give a blank check. This has many strings attached, and it will, those strings will become evident as time goes on. Welcome to Dispatch. I'm Marla Dial. Germany could contribute as much as 123 billion euros to a stabilization fund devised over the weekend in efforts to rescue troubled eurozone states. But Berlin's commitment to the plan, as well as how it might affect the European Union in the future if implemented, remain open questions. Germany's long-term in interests are to be surrounded by an alliance structure that it controls. At the moment, the Eurozone is working very well as a political alliance structure around Germany. But as as decade goes on, the relationship between Germany and Russia is becoming more and more important, both politically, energy-wise, and also economically. And so what we have in this particular situation is Germany calculating whether or not, at some point, it needs to restructure this very Europe-centric alliance structure and bring in Russia, perhaps, and what will that do then to its access to the Central Europeans, who are very skeptical of Russian involvement in political and security structures in Europe. What we need to be watching is whether the immediacy of this crisis, which really brought consensus in an unprecedented manner for the Eurozone, whether it will really last. Germany will not just give a blank check to the Eurozone member states that need it. It will want things in return. And we're already seeing, for example, the idea that Eurostat will become much more involved in monitoring uh, fiscal responsibility of member states. We could potentially have uh, treaty revisions to include suspending of voting rights. We will potentially also see a greater punishment mechanisms for countries that don't actually keep in line with their uh, fiscal constraints.